his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew 6, 33. Welcome back, Divine Kids, to our Bible lessons based on candy bars. I'm excited for this lesson as it's one of my favorite candy, it's Kit Kats. These are great, and especially I get to do this lesson, I get to eat as many as I want. Too bad you're not here to share all of this, so <laughs> they're all mine now, so what can I say? Now, one thing about Kit Kats, these are supposed to be broken. Hey, next time you eat one, look in the back of the logo, or one of these right here on the bottom, and it says, have a break. I don't know where it's, uh, it's a little pun intended. Have a Kit Kat. It's like a little Kit Kat right here. There you go. You break it in two bars, especially when I'm enjoying it. I There's even little waffers, and you got layers to it. So, mm. you see there's... There's a lot of where to be broken, huh? And we don't think this much. I'm like, oh my God, I broke a Kit Kat, you know? Because they were supposed to be broken. And you're just trying to figure out how you're going to enjoy it. Now, we're not Kit Kats, so we're not, we're not supposed to be broken. God's perfect plan was for us to have a full and perfect life. But 
as life goes on, things are not perfect. Things don't go as planned. We might have um, unplanned sicknesses, things that are out of your control. We might have problems in your family that are out of your control. You might be struggling in school, or you might have uh, trouble with your friends. There's a lot of things that go unexpected that are, you're not supposed to be broken, just like these kick -ass. Okay, we're, we're going to talk about two people in the Bible, and this is based on the book of Acts. We're, we're going to be talking about the Apostle Paul and Silas. And in this situation, they were in a city when they met this young woman that was tormented by evil spirits. Now, they did a good thing, and they delivered her from these evil spirits. What was the reward for them? Well, the people in the city were mad at that they had done such a thing, and they were beaten and put in jail. Now, you can say they were like these kick -ass. They were broken. Anybody who has been hit before or beaten up or put in a bad situation would be like being put in a jail. It feels depressing, and I'm pretty sure their body hurt. But even so, they put their trust in God, and they started singing songs, praising God for all the things he had done. Now, God showed up in a mighty way. He delivered them from that prison. Not only that, a lot of people were saved that day, including the jailkeeper. Now, like I had said earlier, God has a perfect plan for each and one, every one of us. Now, those, that plan was broken by sin. When humanity sinned against God, that plan was broken. It took Jesus to restore that plan once he died on that cross and rose again for each and one of us. He wants us to have a relationship with him. And when things do go bad or things get broken in our lives, he wants us to place those pieces in his life. Now, some of us might be going through tough situations. It might be in your family. Parents are not getting that long. Or maybe your brothers and sisters are not getting as long. Or it could be in school. You're having a hard time with certain teachers or certain subjects. Or you're maybe you're facing bullying at this time. Or you might be having a certain illness that is affecting you in your daily life. But God wants you to put those pieces in his hands. And one just final reminder. Paul and Silas showed us a great way how to do this. When they were in a tough situation, they praised God for who he is and what he has done for us. What has God done for us? Well, first of all, he died in that cross so he can restore the broken pieces you might have. He was broken so you could actually be made full. Every time he was receiving a lash, he was being broken. And he showed us this when he was during the final supper, and he broke that bread, showing that that broken bread was being as a symbol of him being broken. But in, in the same time, we were made full by him. So you have time. Just make a small prayer. Just be sincere with God. What is breaking you at that point? Show, show him how you really feel at that moment. And God, you can see how God can restore that broken place you're in.